the second point is we are going to just dis, uh, discuss how the uh, newspapers uh, by reporting crime uh, news stories how do they do this service to the society this is what we are dis we were discussing in the previous slide we will continue the same thing so as i said uh, you know newspapers sometimes they give undue publicity to criminals uh, and they make they try to make uh, them those criminals heroes and by publishing details of how crimes are committed you know pa papers furnish new ideas to criminals even you would have uh, you would have heard about a small boy citing the example of uh, the crime that he watched in a uh, famous uh, crime story okay so this sometimes can lead even children to commit crimes because they give a detailed uh, information on such crimes in newspapers or even in television also and again by premature publicity they thwart uh, uh, the attempts of the police to arrest them and publishing sordid details of crime violate basic decency uh, even publication of pictures of those involved in crime you know may uh, offend public morals and uh, that's why public they openly criticize the press reporting of crime and uh, we know that uh, all these uh, criticisms are not baseless some reporters they have been found guilty of unethical standards uh, which cause you know much pain and uh, uh, sorrow to their victims and their families families and uh, friends also and therefore uh, crime reporters uh, you know sometimes they try to glorify the activities of criminals and this practice should be discouraged as much as a resort to sensationalism so sensationalism i believe you know uh, we have a, a exclusive newspaper for this that is uh, yellow journalism and you know uh, every day when we switch on the tv or when we open the newspaper we find only the criminal's face in the front page of a newspaper or in the television so what uh, what they are indirectly doing is they are trying to glorify the person and uh, the event also and uh, naturally the person becomes a hero you understand so this is what uh, the young generations they follow and they uh, and they uh, see the person as uh, a trend setter or you know as a hero so this has to be discouraged this type of activity has to be discouraged and uh, the crime reporters you know much uh, they uh, sometimes they violate uh, standards of decency and uh, also the good news taste there are several types of crime news like you know murders uh, fires accidents robberies uh, um, fraud blackmail kidnapping rape etc and there are major four types of crimes okay they are uh, crime against person crime against a person is uh, uh, assault kidnapping um, and rape these are crime against a person and the second one is crime against property so crime against property means this include theft forgery cheating okay all these three uh, come under crime against property next is crime against public welfare that is uh, strikes riot etc all these comes under uh, crime against public welfare and the fourth one crime against uh, legal authority that is a you norm know, obstructing government officers uh, uh, from performing their duties uh, offering them bribes sometimes freebies these are crime against legal authority so these are the four major types or general uh, types of uh, crime crimes understand and the crime reporting has been uh, we all know that it has been a central part of news coverage in uh, free press societies for a long time because crime stories are usually newsworthy and the crime has an immense news potential because it uh, concerns the law and order situation so a reporter who specializes in writing crime stories should have sound knowledge about the criminal laws and proceed procedures uh, 